Hey everyone, welcome back. So I am in the middle of a 30 day minimalist challenge. I am on day 13 and when I am finished I will post that video. But even with that challenge going on, I decided I wanted to take a different approach to my closet because I tend to struggle with getting rid of my clothes even though I have way too many. Um, so I decided for my closet I am going to use the KonMari method aka the life-changing magic of tidying up. <sighs> Hallelujah, girl, give it to me because I need some help. <laughs> um, and so you're probably wondering, well, what is the cotton Murray method? And to, I'll read a summarization for you. And it basically says that Japanese cleaning consultant Marie Kondo takes tidying to a whole new level, promising that if you can properly simplify and organize your home once, you'll never have to do it again. Most methods advocate a room by room or little by little approach, which doom you to pick away at your piles of stuff forever. With detailed guidance for determining which items in your house spark joy and which don't, this method will help you clear your clutter and enjoy the unique magic of a tidy home and the calm, motivated mindset it can inspire. Yay! <laughs> um, so basically what I've learned is that the KonMari method doesn't work if you just skim through the items. You physically have to touch everything. So that is why you gather every item in a specific category, pile it up in the middle of the room, and start sorting. If it sparks joy, you keep it. If it doesn't, get rid of it. Pretty simple. And so to reiterate what the summarization said is that you do not go room by room. You go category by category. So first, I recommend that you make a list of all of the categories of items that you have in your house. So I believe the method actually recommends that you um, do clothing, books, paper, then miscellaneous items, and under mis miscellaneous items it would be like kids toys, decor items, cleaning supplies, etc. If you need help with categories, jujusprinkles.com actually has a really cute categorized list already done for you. So all you need to do is take her list, apply it to your household, and you're already on your way. I will link that down below for you. And so obviously the amount of time something like this is going to take is going to depend on how much stuff you have and the size of your household. Um, but at the end of it, you are only going to be surrounded by items in your house that you love. And I think that is awesome. Because if you think about it, I'm sure we all have those items that we look at that either spark a negative memory or we think something negative or we really just don't like it but we bought it and we just keep it because obviously we spent money so we don't want to get rid of it um, or our clothes or anything like that. But we don't get rid of those items and that is so much negativity staying in your house and that's crazy. We should just get rid of that stuff once and for all and just only be surrounded by the stuff we love. Also something to keep in mind is just because this method is trendy and popular doesn't mean it will work for you or that it's right for you and that's okay. I personally did not want to go through my entire house and categorize everything and pull it out and put it in the middle of the room. It just seemed like a really daunting and time consuming task especially because I am just one individual. I preferred the 30 day minimalist challenge that I'm doing, which I will post in a couple of weeks for you when it's finished. Um, but for my closet, because I struggle so much, I want to try this method. So I'm going to do it and I am going to stick to clothes only. So I don't, cause that's the category. And so I don't stress myself out. I'm not going to do shoes or, um, purses or makeup or anything like that. Um, but it is already 10 to 11 so I need to get going because this is gonna take me a while and I've got errands to run so I am gonna walk you through the whole declutter or show you the whole declutter and yeah let's get started so this is my closet I have a lot of stuff as you can see and that is why I want to do the KonMari method because I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. I have some exciting things coming up in the future that I am planning for and this is why I want to minimize and hopefully I will minimize a lot. Um, they say that you will get rid of like up to 65% of each category so that's a lot of stuff. Um, so without further ado, whew, we got some work to do.
feels good to be sitting down, I will tell you that. So I completed my closet declutter and I could not be happier. It did take me quite a while. It took me a couple of hours um, to take everything out, go through it, and then hang it all up again. But I feel amazing. Um, it's, it's a hard feeling to explain. It's like, I know that it's true. Everything I have in my closet now, I know I love, I know I will wear. It did remove those items in there that I had, even if you feel like you didn't have negative feelings or energy towards, you did. And it's just a really cool feeling. Um, it just feels like so much more clear minded when it comes to okay, what am I going to wear today? Now I know I have these options that I actually like rather than sifting through a bunch of things I don't like which makes me feel like I don't have clothes. I feel like we all go through that, um, you know, we all go through that, oh, I don't have anything to wear and it's really because I think we're our judgment is so clouded by all the things we have in our closet that we don't genuinely care for. Um, You'll just have to experience it for yourself. It's really cool. I feel just like, oh, it's just a sense of relief, honestly. Like, it feels amazing. I highly recommend you give it a try, even if it's just one category and then you move on and you, you continue on. I promise you're gonna feel an amazing sense of relief, like I did, and it's awesome. So to give you a little bit of an idea of how much I got rid of, I started, and it's funny, it's just a square flat number, but I got rid of or no, I started with 525 clothing items. Like, guys, that's a lot of stuff <laughs> for one person to, to own. That's a lot of stuff. Um, so I started with 525 items. I got rid of 207 items, and I ended up keeping 318 items. Still a lot of stuff, but it put me at a rate of 40% that I got rid of, which I will admit, I, I, it could be a little bit higher. I would have liked to hit a higher number, but I think I did good for my first try. And that's not actually even including the bag full of bathing suits, bras, um, and just like some other random items. So technically, maybe I'm like 45%. Um, and you may be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with all this stuff? I have some goals for myself, like in my life and my future, um, in the near future that I want to accomplish. So I personally will probably sell most of it. Um, whatever's in like, everything's in, in pretty good shape. So I will sell the majority of it on Poshmark. And if you haven't heard of Poshmark, girl, you are missing out because that app is amazing. It's basically an app where you can sell your clothes or accessories or shoes or anything like that and make money, easy money. I mean, you obviously have to be be willing to take some photos of, of the items and stuff, but I've gotten a couple of friends or told a couple of friends about it and got them hooked and they ended up making so much money off of it. And I personally have made thousands of dollars off of that app, so I highly recommend it. Or, you know, if you want to, you can definitely donate your items to um, like Goodwill or a thrift store or a shelter, um, give them to friends and family, you know, anything. Just have a garage sale. As long as they don't make their way back into your closet, you are golden. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to declutter your space and, and motivate you to, you know, make your home environment more peaceful and more happy. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, yeah, so until I see you next time, take care.